This is a 2024 Adam 23 foot floor, two plus one. The trailer is available at Trailer Country LLC in Carrollton, Virginia. Again, a 2024 Adam 23 foot floor. That equates in this particular trailer to a four foot dressing room, a 10 foot straight load area, and that makes it a nine foot box stall. That's not right, 19, 20, yeah, that's correct. Sorry, my math skills aren't great. My horse trailer skills are. Um, so it's a 10 foot straight load horse area, a four foot dressing room, and then that makes it a nine foot box stall. Um, you should double check my specs listed on my website just to make sure since I'm outside looking at it without a tape measure in my hand. All right, so on this trailer, we've done quite a few upgrades. I have it at eight foot tall versus the standard seven six. We've also upgraded to a polished extruded so that ribbed metal on the side is polished instead of milled. The top rail is gonna be the same. Um, it really sets the trailer off a bit, but also we find that that polished extrusion is gonna stain a little less than the milled extrusion on these particular Adam trailers. Um, I have upgraded the ceiling throughout the entire trailer. It is gonna be standard for the Adam at seven foot wide to have a uh, running board full length. So it's eight foot tall, seven foot wide, 23 feet on the floor. And that does come with a full length running board. We upgraded the dressing room door to be a Dalton door instead of your typical camper style door. I'll close that in one second and show it to you. We also put a mat on this dressing room floor instead of carpet. We have three saddle racks here on this post. You can take some of those off. You can take the whole post out. You can adjust those saddle racks up and down to accommodate your saddles and your needs. The Adam has a huge nose space, um, whether it's seven, six tall or eight foot. Obviously eight foot's gonna give you even more space, but the seven, six tall still has a huge nose. There's so much storage room in there. Uh, insulated ceiling, like I mentioned. So that's gonna run from front to back of the trailer. Nice sliding windows inside of this dressing room. So you have lots of natural light, window behind the saddle racks, and then of course some bridle hooks here. Walk through door from the horse area to the dressing room. And your light switch. We do not have a battery on this trailer. So I don't have this, this light's not gonna come on for us, but that's gonna operate the LED light here inside of this dressing room. I'm gonna show you this Dalton door. So standard here is gonna be a camper style door. We've done this trailer with the Dalton door, which is a heavier duty door. It's built in house at Adam. Doesn't have the screen, but it's just a really nice, really sleek looking door. And then it's gonna match the escape door a little better. So we have a full size escape door on the street side here with a drop down window bar there over that door to keep a horse from coming out. If you have a horse in that box stall, we have a bar that goes over the side ramp as well. I don't have it up, but I'll show it to you. Of course, all necessary DOT tape. Uh, I believe on this trailer is 5,200 pound axles. Let's double check that. On our VIN plate. Uh, yeah, 5,200 pound axles on this trailer. 16 inch wheels. They are an ST, ST23580R16. We've got LED lights everywhere. So these are your running lights. You've got penny lights across the top of the trailer. You have two sets of brake lights, one on the top and one on the bottom here of the rear. Those are of course gonna be LED. That's an LED load light there above that rear ramp. And we have another LED load light above this side ramp here. drop-down windows at the straight load heads, drop-down window on your escape door. We also added four fans to the horse area, so they're gonna be in each corner of this stall. One, two, and then two in the very front box. I'm gonna put a tape measure in this stall because I'm just not sure I'm correct on the measurements here. This may be an eight foot long stall, excuse me. I think that it is. This is gonna be eight feet from breast bar to butt bar, standard is seven. So this trailer actually is built for your largest horses. Eight foot breast to butt bar. This is an extra long stall. So we have 11 feet here for our horses instead of a standard 10. My apologies. Two pop-up roof vents in the straight load stall 
and two pop-up roof vents in our box stall. Yeah, this box stall is only eight feet. Forgive me for not knowing the answer to that right off the bat. But uh, as I stand in here, I can tell you that this box stall is eight, which is still gonna fit a regular horse just fine from corner to corner in here. Obviously, if you normally have a 10 foot straight load stall, your horse isn't gonna stand nose to tail in here but they're gonna have ample room in a box stall configuration up here. Um, and then this rear stall is 11 feet, eight feet breast of butt bar, three feet of headroom. So that stall is gonna be for your largest horses. The walls are lined, not insulated. The ceiling is insulated in this trailer. Again, it's eight foot tall, seven foot wide, 23 feet on the floor. Had my box stall and straight load stall measurements incorrect, but I am correct now and I will make sure that our website indicates that as well. The trailer is located at Trailer Country LLC in Carrollton, Virginia. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us on Facebook, by telephone, by email. TrailerCountryLLC.com is going to show you all the trailers that we have in inventory.